Hey guys, in this video, we will be looking at how we go about removing data from our database table. So we have three tasks outlined. We want to delete a student with the ID value one, and this will be our first activity for this video. So the keyword used for a delete statement is literally that word delete. And we say from our table students, and then we have to, just like with our update and just like with our select, in some cases, specify the condition upon which something should be deleted. So in this case, our condition is that the student with the ID value one should be deleted. So we use our where clause and we specify the column ID and the value that we're looking for. So we want to delete from our students table where any ID value is equal to one. And then considering, and I'll just go Go ahead and select the top 1000 again considering that our id column is our unique identifier for any student it means that only the record with one in the space for the id column will be deleted no other record will be touched when we look for the record with the id value being one so we go ahead and execute this command and we will see that one row gets affected and if we refresh our select statement we see that we no longer have a student with the ID value one. And in the same way, if I try to execute this again, then we should see zero rows affected because there is no record with ID value being one. Next up, we want to remove the student by the name of the J McDermott. So we will say delete from our table students where and in this situation, we're going to have to use a more advanced where clause here. So we want to make sure that we're getting the student with the full name. This is still risky because you could have had two TJ McDermott's in your system. And if you use this method, then everywhere that the first name is TJ and the last name is McDermott, you would delete all of those records. It would not be able to distinguish exactly which one you would want, which is why using the ID value Value and the ID column is the safest way to know which record you are targeting specifically. However, for example's sake, we will go ahead and say first name is equal to and our value to J and literally and because now we're saying the condition hinges on this being true and last name equals McDermott. So here we see where we can have more than one parts to a condition. A condition is not limited to one column and one value, but we can have and, and you can also have or. The or would say if the first name is equal to Tajay, then I want it. Or if you don't find that one and you find something with the last name equal McDermott, then I will also take it. You can experiment with your where clauses and the multiple conditions. And I would suggest that you start experimenting with those on your select statements as opposed to your delete statements. But for now, we want any student that has the first name being Tajay and the last name being McDermott. So if we have a student with Tajay and Reed, then Tajay Reed would not get deleted. And because her name is not Tajay and McDermott. So we can execute this and we'll see that we'll have one row affected because it went into the data set and looked for first name Tajay and last name McDermott, which was ID number seven. So if we execute again, we'll see that she is no longer there. Also note that there is no way to recover deleted records. So be very careful and deliberate when deleting records. There is no recycle bin that you can just go back to and recover. And lastly, we want to delete all students with names containing the word student. So we'll just write another delete command, delete from students where and this time our condition will have to employ the use of a wildcard because we said with the names containing the word student which means student student one student six test student all of those should be taken into consideration so we'll say delete from students where and we can say first name 
like, which we know is our wildcard expression. And then we say modulus student and modulus. So once again, this is going to say, look for any student where the first name has the word student in it. I don't care what comes before the word student and I don't care what comes after the word student. But then we said name, we didn't specify whether it's the first name or the last name. So in this case, we'll just follow the instructions and we said name. So we have to say first name or last name like student. So what this will do is say, delete any students that might have a first name containing the word student or might have a last name containing the word student. So when we execute this, the expectation is that every record that we have that currently has the word student in it will be erased. So we can go ahead and do this and we see that four rows were affected. So when we execute, we should see one, two, three, four being removed from our result set. And there we go. And we're down to five students. And take note of the fact that the ID column, it does not reassess itself and recount and say, oh, this is now one and this is two and this is three. Whatever value was assigned at the time of creation will be there going forward. So that's the end of this video. Once again, we went through some statements to delete some data and you can go ahead and experiment with different conditions and be very careful because if you say delete from students without a condition, this will actually remove every single record from your table. So be very deliberate and very careful when executing these commands.